Hi, today I'm going to do a book review on Coraline. It is a book that I have been wanting to read for a while. I think before even the movie came out, I had like seen some like deep dives on like YouTube about people like going into the novel and like the lore and like what things mean and stuff like that. And it always intrigued me. And I did watch the movie and I just been putting off reading the original material for a long time. So here we are. <laughs> um, it's definitely a children's book. It's got that big font. It's got that easy writing. This one in particular has some illustrations, um, but this is definitely a novel. I haven't read the graphic novel, um, which I don't know if it's different, but I'm sure it has more um, illustrations and stuff. So overall, it definitely reads like a children's book. It's very easy to consume, um, but it doesn't feel cheesy. Like it doesn't feel like you're reading like an oversimplified, like obviously for younger, younger children kind of a novel. Like it still reads like um, a sensible read. I don't know how else to put it. It still feels like you can enjoy it as an adult where you might feel like infantilized. Is that a word? Infantilized? You might feel like a baby if you read some some kids works just like read like you know you're a baby. I feel like this one doesn't. Um, obviously it is um, at a children's reading level so you won't feel like overwhelmed if you are an adult reader <laughs> if you're an adult uh, level reader um, but there were just so many like creepy like things that like I'm not even sure like a child would pick up on and if you're like a lore lover and you like love like extra storyline like hidden behind the main storyline that you feel like there's something extra here like there's a deeper narrative that's what this provides for sure and like I said I'm not sure like a child might pick up on that at least not in the first read so I feel like it's this beautiful like mix between like a children's book and like also elevated reading that would like help elevate a child's um mental gymnastics to get them to think a little bit deeper than just a surface level story that a lot of children's books tend to be. So yeah, there's just a lot of creepiness here. There's a lot of like story behind the story, which I feel like Neil Gaiman is really great at doing. Um, and yeah, it's just a good read on like the surface level. It's like a creepy novel, but I don't feel like it would necessarily traumatize or scare a kid or me but I also feel like there's deeper context in there that you can tear this apart like I can see why there are so many deep dives on this novel by adults for adults um as well so I think it's a great novel to give to your kids especially if you have little goth baby kids that um are getting into reading and it would definitely help elevate their reading uh, comprehension and skills, I think, because of that multi-layer that Neil Gaiman has for this particular novel. And reading a child's book every once in a while is super refreshing, I must say. And um, yeah, I'm glad I picked this up. I'm glad I finally got around to it. So that's my review of Coraline by Neil Gaiman, which is one of my favorite writers in general. It's nice to see that he's just as good at writing children's novels as he is his adult novels. So um, yeah, if you've been thinking about picking it up, pick it up. If you have already, tell me your favorite parts. Tell me your favorite nuances, um, any theories. I would love to hear them. So thank you for your time. Bye.